Hey everyone, today we are diving into a fascinating chapter of West African history, the intriguing 18th century hut schools of Futa Jalon. Imagine, if you will, stepping back in time to the rolling highlands of what is now Guinea, where a unique educational movement was taking root. Futa Jalon, a region known for its rugged terrain and rich cultural tapestry, was also the birthplace of a remarkable educational system. Unlike the massive institutions we're familiar with today, the schools in Futa Jalon were modest huts, often made of mud and thatch. But don't let their humble appearances fool you. These were powerhouses of learning. The curriculum, it was astonishingly comprehensive. Students, or talibas as they were known, studied everything from Islamic theology and jurisprudence to mathematics and astronomy. These schools were not just about rote learning, they encouraged critical thinking and debate, skills that are cherished in educational institutes to this day. But what makes the hut schools truly special is their accessibility. Education in Futa Jalan was considered a communal right. This ethos meant that knowledge was not hoarded, but shared freely among the community, regardless of one's social standing. It was a progressive concept that predates many modern educational philosophies. Now, why is this important? Understanding the history of these schools gives us insight into how knowledge and culture were preserved and propagated in pre-colonial Africa. It challenges the often one-dimensional narrative of African history and highlights the continent's rich contributions to global knowledge. So next time you think about education, remember the hut schools of Futa Jalan, a place where under thatched roofs, surrounded by the lush greenery of Guinea, a world of knowledge and innovation thrive. They remind us that sometimes the greatest lessons come from the most unexpected places. Thanks for tuning in and see you in the next dive into history.